Perfect. What's going on guys? Tips for Gamers here. Today we are going to be breaking down the best QB traits and archetype secrets in Madden 23 franchise mode. We're going to be giving all of our secrets away. We're going to make sure you guys know exactly what you're looking for. Uh, depending on the system that you're running, whether it's an improvised quarterback, strong arm, you name it, and what type of rating should you be looking for, what kind of trait should you be looking for. We've talked about this before, but we are going to end any questions that you'll ever have with quarterbacks with this video. So let's see if you guys can get this video to 200 likes. That's our goal, and let's see if you guys can help us get there. And we got a message for all you guys, and this goes out to also the tough guys out there. It's not just about being tough and showing your buddies you're tough by opening up a beer bottle using just your butt cheeks. All right? This goes for men, women, siblings. This goes for your wife, husband. doesn't matter. It goes for every one of you. Don't forget to tell those around you that you're proud of them, not just for their big achievements, but their small achievements as well. It matters more than you know. Your husband, wife, siblings, and children become fueled by this. Don't forget to remind them. This is very important. Don't forget to remind them of what they have already accomplished. It shows you see and hear them. And sometimes just knowing someone is there in the crowd just for them means everything to those that you love. So field general quarterbacks, let's start there. Don't they just seem like they cry a lot and they journal all the time? I'm just kidding. Joe Burrow, you're tough as nails, big dog. You got sacked as many times in the Titans game last year in the in the conference championship uh, as your number. So, and you still hung in strong and helped win the game for your team. Field general quarterbacks are knockoff strong arm quarterbacks. That's just the way they are. That means that they typically don't have a good throw power. His is an 87. I think they're doing him a disservice. I think that he has a better throw power than that, but whatever. And I also don't think he's an 87 scrambling type quarterback. That's ridiculous in my opinion. But anyways, field general quarterbacks, I suggest working them up to the strong arm quarterbacks. That's what I suggest. I like strong arm quarterbacks better. So if you have a field general quarterback, just follow our traits uh, for what we're going to recommend in this for strong arm quarterbacks which is coming up next and go from there okay but i would really suggest trying to get them to a strong arm quarterback so let's talk about strong arm quarterbacks we're going to go over josh allen here use him as a template i know he is an improvising quarterback but he's really close to being a strong arm quarterback as well i'm about to sneeze i could feel it coming it's coming <laughs> okay i'm good now strong arm quarterbacks are the daddies of war when it comes to madden simulation i like them and uh, user play as well but i like legs if you have speed then i want to talk to you that's what makes josh allen really scary in user play because the dude has a 99 throw power and he's also got that speed as well he's better in user play than he is in simulation and we'll talk uh, as to why that is here in a second you have to remember in simulation strong arm quarterbacks are the cream of the crop particularly if you have the best playbooks and schemes and the right personnel around them they simply crap glory so let's go over the traits now this is going to matter more when it comes to simulation than user play many of you guys already know that and some of you guys are wondering well dodds why are you talking about this you've already talked about traits yes but they're different be between improvising quarterbacks and strong arm quarterbacks they're different okay and we need you guys to understand the nth degree for you to truly be successful okay so personality this doesn't matter he could be mr sassy lips for all we care doesn't matter done with it quarterback style which is weird because josh allen has a scrambling type style i don't really understand that because i don't believe he's a true scrambler at heart i think he's more of a balanced quarterback than anything and balanced is the best but if you have another one, it won't hinder your success. Listen to me rhyme. I'm about to get a rap contract after this video. Okay, sense of pressure. Ideal is the best. Average is the only other one that we'd accept. I'm on a roll. It's ridiculous. I'm expecting these rap contracts to come in million dollar per line. Forcing passes. Aggressive is king. Simple. Aggressive is king. This is the only one that you do not want to budge on unless there's a, not a lot of quarterbacks to choose from to run your system. Ideal is the only other exception. Now, tight spiral. We couldn't care less if a quarterback has this or, lot, or not. Please, guys, if you're using this term, couldn't care less, say couldn't care less. Because if you say I could care less, I don't know why you're saying that because it means you could care less. I don't even know why you'd say that. Uh, Peyton Manning can throw 500 wobbly TD passes and so can your crappy quarterback. It does not affect accuracy of the ball. Okay, I've heard this before. It does not affect the accuracy of the ball no matter what Jimbo told you in PE class. All right, simple. Throw the ball away trait. Preferably, we would not want our quarterback to have this, but if he is a strong-arm quarterback, hear me when I say this. If he is a strong-arm quarterback, 
okay, then we would make an exception if all of his other traits are good and he has a good throw style and his ratings are good. All right, we would make an exception and say, fine, all right, we'll take it because I'm not going to pass up on a guy who's elite because he throws the ball away. All right, so remember that because we're going to go into that here in the future. So we're going to talk about the best ratings to have for strong arm quarterbacks. What are you going to be looking for? All right, so for throw power, a true good strong arm quarterback, 92 or above, or above is preferred, but not a must. If a guy's a little bit less than that, oh, well, you know, consider all of the traits and all of his other ratings and see if you can make that exception. At times, I'll make that exception. But in reality, I really do want good throw power. All right, that's that's what I want. That is a sweet spot. So if you're 92 or above, that's where you'll start to find most of your success. Okay, speed as a whole. I'm talking speed, agility, acceleration. For strong arm quarterbacks, think of it this way. Any extra speed is a bonus. Okay, but he could be a slow sack of crap for all we care. If he's really good with his throw power, his accuracy and all that. Speed is not the name of the game for strong arm quarterbacks. Throw accuracy across the board, mid, short, deep, you name it. Uh, the more, the better, obviously. But if your QB is young, then short accuracy being the highest is a solid start. If you see that, that's a good indication. The mid to upper 70s is a perfect range to start for your young quarterbacks. Okay, and then obviously it should jump up much higher as the years go on. If not, you're doing something wrong or your quarterback just sucks or his development is just trash. Okay, throw on the run. It is great to have a solid throw on the run rating, but it is not a must-have. Over time, this will increase. Um and and it's something you should look for so throw on the run you know i would say as high as you can get so the upper 70s is something i like to see i definitely love to see but just remember that is going to increase over time now let's talk about his throw under pressure for younger quarterbacks the mid 70s are a perfect start throw under pressure helps in every situation it just does simulation user play throw under pressure is huge okay so cod Treat it the same as speed, the more the merrier. Strength. Now, this doesn't change your quarterbacks overall, regardless of how high or low it is. That There's a misconception with some guys thinking that, well, the guy's got, you know, really good strength. All right. And that, that changes his um, overall. It doesn't. You can put it to zero. It's not going to change his overall. However, it's a good indication that is usually a more solid strong arm quarterback when you're in the draft. All right, if you see that, it, it's just a good indication. It's something I look for and I go, ah, oh, man, that's that's something I like there, and uh, I'll go from there. I swear to God, I just heard something move, and there's no one next to me too, so maybe there's a ghost. Anyways, now, it isn't a guarantee. Just make sure that it's something that you are monitoring the strength. If we had to give a range, we'd say 70 overall or above is a great range. All right, break sack, mid-70s for young quarterbacks, low 80s for above average quarterbacks in upper 80s for the elite quarterbacks top one percent okay it isn't a perfect science though an elite quarterback can have a lower range just use this as a gauge to understand where your quarterback is at all right so we gave you the numbers i know we're going fast but we got a lot to cover so pause the video go back some people may say hey you talk too quick go back all right this is an informational video and, uh, you know, I don't want to sit there and take 10 years explaining all this stuff. Spin move and juke move. If he has it, great. If he doesn't, then don't go home, home and cry about it and, you know, write in your journal in the mirror. Don't do not do that. Um, you don't need to. Now, carrying. Low to mid-60s, believe it or not, is a good start. It's crazy. I know. So, injury and stamina. The perfect rating would be in the mid-90s for both. However, we do not live in a perfect world. And if you're going to come across a bunch of quarterbacks that are good in the draft... Um, you know, that could get injured from a bee sting, we'd suggest not going with them. All right. Now, if you're an improvising quarterback, obviously you have an improvising quarterback, you're going to obviously want a little bit higher because you're at risk of getting hit more injury and stamina are preferable. Okay. With that. But at the same point in time, if it's a little bit lower for a really good quarterback, you know, you have to just have good judgment. If, if you are afraid of him being out three weeks due to a bee sting, He's not the quarterback for you, okay? And a good indication of low injury would just be to manage what you're seeing on the field. You know, if he's getting injured one or more, time, one or more times a year uh, and he's getting injured for multiple games uh, during each one of these times, it's not just like one game, it's like three games and it's multiple times, then you need to trade him to the highest bidder. 
Okay, and if this dude is doing hot yoga for his workouts and only listens to Tibetan singing bowls, then probably a good indication that maybe the guy's not going to last too long. Let's talk about scrambling quarterbacks here. Now, they can be good, but they're nowhere near as good as solid improvising quarterbacks um, if you're in simulation. User play, you can kind of mess around with it a little bit more. I would still suggest going for more of the improviser uh, quarterbacks and upgrading that way. And you can see like Lamar Jackson here is a combo between both. He's literally balanced. I would work on his improviser is definitely what I would do. Now, some people have this misconception that scrambling quarterbacks have to be the only ones that fit in scrambling systems. That's not true. You can also have an improviser fit in a scrambling system and do great. Like you can see here, the Ravens are in a scrambling type system. He's a balance between both of them, so you can choose. And he's actually a great quarterback in simulation. Looking over Lamar Jackson, I was actually very impressed with how good he is in simulation. His traits are uh, fantastic to a degree. I got to look over one of the other ones to see if he's truly perfect. So with scrambling quarterbacks, we recommend converting these quarterbacks into improvisers over time. Okay, just make sure you have the same traits and ratings uh, that we're going to recommend for improviser quarterbacks. So for improviser quarterbacks, they are imperative to get correct to Madden 23 franchise mode, um, especially traits for simulation. Okay, user play, you want to make sure they're actually good quarterbacks with the ratings and stuff, but the traits are much more important for simulation. Now, going over their traits, the throw the ball away trait, this is huge in simulation. Now... I know a lot of you guys know to not have it, but I can't stress you enough with improviser quarterbacks, you cannot have it. You cannot have it if you're in simulation. It's a zero. Strong arm quarterbacks, you can make do with it. Improvising quarterbacks, you can't make do with it. All right, because what will happen is your quarterback will escape the pocket, especially in slow sim. He'll run out of the pocket, act like he's going to get the first down, but if someone's in the general vicinity, he'll throw the ball away when he could have easily across the first down, gotten you a first down in in continued your drive all right it is horrible so what happens in madden if you have a strong arm quarterback they'll backpedal i know you guys have seen this they'll just continuously backpedal for like 50 yards and then get sacked however they'll also throw for six thousand yards in the right system with the right personnel they'll throw for 60 tds like it's insane right Improviser quarterbacks have the exact opposite they'll escape the pocket they'll run if they have to throw the ball away trait they'll sit there and throw the ball away when a guy's in their general vicinity and it's just it, it will give you a headache so both quarterbacks are not perfect they have their flaws and, and they could be incredibly frustrating so with improvising quarterbacks you have to be very specific on their throw style i know you can now change their throw style before it was glitched but you cannot mess around with their throw style if you want to pay a guy elite money like lamar jackson you got to make sure his throw style is fast all right because if not you don't want to be escaping the pocket and have a guy on your tail and then have a long wind up. Okay, because that has just a lot of bad news bears written on that and a lot of bad things can happen. So forcing passes, the same thing, aggressive, but ideal is the only other option. Uh, but aggressive is by far the best. Uh, there's, there's just no way around that. You want him to be aggressive because the CPU is a little bit more of where they just will take their time. They want the guy to be like wide open. You want him to just be aggressive and say, that guy's open, boom. And then what you can do is calm that down over time with good accuracy ratings. Tight spiral, um, if he has it, it'll only make him a fancy guy. Uh, not more efficient. Keep it that way. Okay, so sense of pressure. It uh, doesn't matter in user play and simulation. We want ideal or average. The same thing. The rest don't matter. The best improviser rating. Let's go over that. Speed, acceleration, agility, low 80s for average players. I don't suggest that, but that's for the average improvisers. The low 80s. Um, 85 for decent and good and 86 and above for the elite improviser quarterbacks so use this as a gauge and if you've got a quarterback learn that hey if he's in the low 80s he's average that's what he is that's what i'm getting don't expect any more 85 decent good above 86 86 and above he's elite i know what i'm getting in the future strength the same thing applies for strong arm quarterbacks awareness this really isn't important in even simulation whether you're in user play simulation awareness is like all right you know okay he has it okay he doesn't you know you just have to be careful when you're drafting him if he has high awareness and then the rest of his ratings don't really look that good 
Um, and then you notice that, all right, maybe he's all fluff. Because awareness does make you fluff. Take Malik Willis, for example. His awareness is low, and it, a lot of his other ratings are extremely high. And they had to do that because they, if they put his awareness to the same as the other guys, his his overall would be off the charts, right? So caring, mid-60s is good, low-70s for elite quarterbacks. That's that. I know it's not a lot, but that's the way it works. Cod, uh, this is more important for improviser quarterbacks. Mid 80s for good, 90s for elite quarterbacks. Okay, stamina and injury. This is tricky to gauge uh, the range for quarterbacks because it's so up and down. I mean, it really is, especially when you start getting the auto generated draft classes. Injury, stamina, decent, good uh, quarterback. Um, for decent and good quarterbacks, it's around 85 for both. All right, on, on injury and stamina, 90 and above for elite. All right, so if you have a 90 and above stamina, and you can see Lamar Jackson has that, even if his morale boost goes down and you see him at a 92 instead of a 96 because he has that plus four, he's still in the elite range. All right, now toughness, it's great to have. It's an added bonus, makes him return from injury faster, but still it's not something I really look at to gauge whether I'm going to draft you or not. It's just not. Okay, so... Just apply the same thing. If he's getting injured over a bee sting, you know, his workouts only contain hot yoga, uh, I, I would worry about him. All right. And, and the guys, this is obvious. If your guy is getting injured multiple times a year or every single year, either you're pushing him too hard or your quarterback's injury and stamina rating are just cheeks or maybe your sliders are too high. I don't know. Just something to gauge and then look to trade him away.